Hey there, either. Hold our fire, familiar. Welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to be reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 2. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Chapter 2, Fallen Stars. Fallen Stars! All I can think of is Star Touch Elf, so let's see if it gets into that. We're focusing on the... Star so, touched caterpillar. When might we expect the emergence of our mysterious guide? The our bug pal. Need... Oh, so you have portals now. I would not touch it. Even though I'd be curious on what it would feel like. At the tip top of the storm spot. Oh. Trauma. <laughs> no? hey, who's ready for an exhausting climb? Oh, I am. I, you have magic, though. Couldn't you, like, float yourself up there? I don't know. You're that guy waiting for that fancy book. Well, You're that guy? It's here. It blew my mind. Well, more than my mind, actually. Uh, it blew the doors off their hinges, too. Uh, I have a busy day. I, if you wouldn't mind just giving He's it. He's not going to give it. A normal crow. No, it was this wild, magical Zadian bird. You know, for a moment I was thinking Fifi, but uh, yeah, I don't think Fifi would be sent to carry a, <laughs> a book. Also, star touched creature. You almost look. It almost looks like those birds that got sucked up by that other evil mage from like the beginning. Beginning, the one that uh, scarred uh, Soul Regum. It looks like one of those birds. I don't think it is though. You're cool looking though. You're like a. You're like a mix between a crane. Actually, yeah, no. You're 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 like a magical crane. I've never seen anything like it. Flew right in, surrounded by glowing. Callum's just like, yeah, yeah. Can you just give me the book already? <laughs> and let's just say these aren't the same trousers I wore to work this morning. TMI. I thought for a moment he wasn't gonna give the book back. <laughs> Or he's gonna be like, you know what? I don't wanna be a crow master anymore. I wanna be a whatever that bird is. Oh, I love books. Mm -hmm. he's right. Especially books, books that are, are great. Especially books that are about uh, magical runes. Trust and peace across the continent. Thanks, Corvin. But I sense a but. Tell the truth. Is it mm -hmm. really about changing the world, or is it just an excuse to get Zim to come visit? Both. Can't it be both? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So wait, if they're going up top of the mountain, this is where Zim and his mom live, right? So wouldn't they risk encountering them? Oh. He's definitely gonna have a fear of heights after falling to his death. If he didn't already have them before. I love how they're just like not out of breath or anything, and Viren's just like <sighs> that. I be Viren, <laughs> fear of heights and out of breath. Oh, Zim has grown. Okay, so okay, I'm not gonna lie. Considering how old the dragons are, I would expect them to take longer to mature. But maybe it's that they mature fast or mature at a normal speed, like you know humans and elves and stuff. But then once they reach adult age, then they can. Stay like they live a long time, kind of thing. A choice, Zim. Your mother insisted that before you oh, you're looking to good, Catullus, Zim. You must consume the proper vegetables. Oh my god. Nah, Zim's gonna be like case of with vegetables. They're just vegetables. They look like fruit. Oh. And delicious That's and a squash. Ah. Zim's gonna wait. So Zim would be possibly what in his teen years right now? Oh, he's gonna be more feisty or moody and stuff. You do realize I'm one of the most powerful sky mages in history. I can make you eat them. Oh my god, not the freaking more dog noises. Oh, look, here comes the delicious zucchini. Oh my god, this is like look at the airplane. Wee wee. Phoenix. I don't know why I just said wee wee. Flying into your mouth. He's going to dodge it or I mean, it's a fried vegetable now. Maybe we'll eat it. Shot it down. <gasps> Mom, hide them. 
Oh, it's the red dragon too. Sim, did you finish your dinner? I'm sure King Ezrin eats all of his vegetables too. She knows. Moms know. Almost time for our big journey. So this means it, when Zim gets old enough, does that mean he's gonna be able to speak as well? What are we? Are we gonna get to hear Zim speak at some point? That'd be cool. He's looking more like mom. Oh, it'd be funny if it hit one of them on the head, and knocked them out, and just like they fell off the. <laughs> So they are still in the cave then, or the mountain. See that plant right there? Yeah. Oh. I don't see any difference. I just gave it a bit of extra grow magic. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say oomph. <clears throat> it didn't move. Nothing happened. Is it gonna suddenly just <laughs> and grow into a beanstalk and then they can climb it? Yeah. Should bloom a week or two early. On average. Give it take. Ah, great. Amazing. Dad. I love Bjorn's reactions to the two of them. We call it a high four and a half because I bring five and he brings four. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Tell my dad what it smells like when you pass gas. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they're perfect for each other. I do not need to know this. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of curious, but at the same time, I don't want to know. <clears throat> Petricor. Uh, what? Petricor, Dad. It's the smell of fresh rain hitting dry stones. It smells so... You mean to tell me his fart smells like that? Like, I, I can smell that. Like, in the desert, you could smell, like... You always know, like, rain's on its way, because you could smell in the air. And I guess they say only some, like, certain people can smell that. So, wait, his farts smell like that? <laughs> <laughs> no way, I'd be like, can you pass gas more? And that'd be so weird. Good when he farts. I mean, I'll take that over it not smelling good, so the idea of enjoying someone's smart uh smart. Fart smells is weird, but hey. Oh, are you two getting married? Is this your engagement party? You'll be the world's most formidable couple. <laughs> so they're getting married before Rayla or Ray ah! Rayla or Callum do. <laughs> so they'll be the main example of an elf and a human because they're getting married and everything, whereas Rayla and Callum were just a couple, now like separated. But, you know, so they'll be first and then it'll be Rayla and Callum. Hmm. Or no, maybe it would be Claudia and Terry? Well, sister, it can finally be. Wait, is this actually Janai's brother? Now that you'll officially be my little brother, I'll try oh. not to beat you up too much. <laughs> okay, so he is Janai's brother. Okay. Hey, what? I'm not mm -hmm. above tickling the tooth out of you if I have to. <laughs> Something's bothering him for sure. Is he worried about <laughs> the fact human? I have concerns. About you marrying about you marrying a human. And I don't think it's because he's racist or anything. Yeah, they just he's concerned on what people like what what the rest of the elves will look at Janai as. Did they move this gateway higher? <sighs> it seems like it's higher than it was before. <sighs> well, to be fair, you also don't really have magic like that anymore, and you've also been dead for two years. <laughs> oh, this this is absolutely exhausting. I'm sure his lungs have uh, shrunken a bit. He likes breathing. All of us. Oh, I think all of us do. Coming right up. So wait, Terry's okay with dark magic? Like he doesn't have a problem with her killing cute little creatures for ma- Dark magic's got a bit of a tingly aftertaste. Nobody ever tells you that. Oh no. Oh great, okay. I don't get it. This tome seems like it had Is Claudia and Terry gonna be like the dark version of Rayla and Callum? But nothing matches the writing on the mirror. So ancient ancient Wait, what is this? Ah Invisible ink. The whole last half of the book is empty. 
Blank, 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 Invisible. Blank, 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 it's blank, hidden. Pamphlet of pathetic. Ooh. Pamphlet of pathetic. Okay. Why do you have to give names to everything, Calm? I love you for it, but oh my gosh. That was a pump. Now what? I think it's invisible ink or something, or you have to unlock it or say a spell. The puffer bats. Did you capture each of them at peak of puff? Peak of puff. Oh my god. You know I'm perfectionish. Perfectionish? You mean perfectionist? You mean a perfectionist? No. Ish. But dad, the spell is working. You're fine. No. He's just having a panic attack. No. And he's down. Yeah, no, he was, he's having a panic attack. Not an anxiety attack, I don't think. Just a little panic attack. There's no shame in that. Used to happen to me all the time when I was a sapling. Did you just say a sapling? No. Stop peeking over the edge. But we have to keep moving, okay? Maybe stay on the inside and on the outside where you keep peeking over and causing yourself even more anxiety and stress. I died falling off this mountain. But only the one time. I think one's enough. And half the book is blank. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Copies. <laughs> Reflects what you paint on one side. <laughs> Look. <laughs> and 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 it magically translates it on the other side. Is that what you're saying, Bait? I guess. <laughs> I'm glad he got that from that, because I just got that it copies and, and like, paste. I didn't think of translating. Be, I mean, okay. Interesting. Am I about to vandalize an ancient book? <laughs> yes. But do it. Okay, here just, goes. Just do one little sigil. I thought I saw a shadow in the mirror, but never mind. I think it was just it's his working. shadow. It's the symbolism, sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are queen now. I never wanted to be queen. But you are. Maybe you should talk about what this in private. What message do you think it gives the people if you choose to marry a human? There's no message. Unity? The only that the rising sun is now a falling star. What is this? I mean, to be technical, the sun will eventually die, so... <laughs> we lost Luxoria, our great capital, and we were not able it to reclaim I swear, from th that angle, or from this viewpoint, it really does look like the Eye of Sauron or something. <laughs> In makeshift tents. I mean, marrying a human changes that how? Like, I don't think marrying an elf would suddenly make it like, oh yeah, we could take back our city. It will confirm their fear that these humans are not our guests. Is it their fears or yours? Like, I feel like it's his fears, not really their fears. You can enjoy every day of your lives together just as you would. Oh, that marriage? Not make it official. I still don't see how it's gonna make a difference, but okay. <sighs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because telling someone not to look down has always worked. Not looking down. Uh, yeah, you are. Uh, fairly sure. Fairly sure. <laughs> Claudia's like, shh. Do I smell petrichor? Guilty as charged. Oh, you two are so perfect for each other. <laughs> Oops, couple more little chuckle puffs today. Chuckle puffs. <laughs> Dad, calm Don't down. have another panic attack. I'm going to fall. Dad, you just <laughs> Hearing Viren like freaking out is so weird. Just need to calm down. <laughs> he's having a panic attack. Or he's freaking out. And how are you supposed to get back down from this, too? Enjoying every moment with my daughter, who is the most special person I have ever known. Yeah, you might want to give some love to Soren too that you kind of to let go.
but will Claudia let go? Oh, what? I brought you back from the dead. Oh, yeah, he was actually on a good path, like, right there. Yeah, like, okay, he doesn't have to give up on living, but, like, that, that, that uh, mindset of, you know, enjoy the sunsets, go travel, and, and, you know, just appreciate his daughter and what he's got. Like, that's not bad. But, you know, like, I understand the not giving up part where it's like, hey, you know what? We Let's at least try to get you to survive and you can keep on that mindset of enjoying every day and stuff. But I hope she's not, like, flat out saying, forget all of that and just let's get your power back and get you to live. And, like, no. Oh, bye, Zim. Bye, Mama Zim. We were there. You don't have to keep... Terry and I will retrieve the staff. As if heading down wouldn't be nerve-wracking you. Like, especially the pathway they took with the edge there. Like, what? <laughs> he actually shed a tear. It's working. In darkness, gaze upon a fallen star. Fallen star, that's the name of this episode, so. Is the... What the fudge was that little lemur thing? <laughs> Bates face! I'm glad I'm not the only one that heard or saw that. <laughs> but, um, okay, so gaze upon a fallen star. So I'm guessing, I want, or not I'm guessing, I'm wondering if then, if Erevos is the fallen star. Because through the mirror, you would look at Erevos, who's a star-touched elf. So, he's a, he's a fallen star? In darkness, gaze upon a fallen star. In darkness. Well, I think that's right, because... Viren had to put the lights out for him to be able to see into the mirror or see Erevos in the first place, so. In darkness, Blow out the candle. Upon a fallen star. Put out all the torches. Wow. Dark magic. So, star torch? No, it's darkness? I wonder what... Hello, little lemur thing. Are you, are, are you, uh, Momo? <laughs> Momo reincarnate? Who's that? New star touch shelf? Go away, bug. New star touch shelf? No, moon shadow? Rayla? Rayla? My baby! <laughs> oh, look at you! You got a pet, too! Of course, you end the episode with her coming back. Ah! <laughs> okay, you know what? That's probably the cleanest route you could have gone with someone using a tentacle for a hole. But you know what? Just, never mind. I don't even want to. Anyway. Oh my God! Rayla's back. Yes. Yes. As soon as I, I thought at first it was like Aravos, like. Or another star touch elf, but then I'm like, wait a minute, this moon shadow. I'm like, oh, Rayla? <laughs> Yay, Rayla's back. That means the next episode is going to be the reunion, right? Is that Crow Master, right? Crow Master with his crows? Yeah. That's, is it uh, Iba? I, I, I keep, I, I remember his name at the same time I don't. I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's Iba, or of course him with the vegetables. Uh, is the broccoli thing a reference to Kasef again? Because Kasef like had a personal thing against like broccoli. It was the, he had like a, Played a broccoli with him. A oh, little puff bat. Don't make me feel bad that she killed the puff bats. They were so cute, man. <sighs> also, I'm not gonna lie, this lemur. While I thought of Momo at the same time, it looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> cute though. New little psychic. Oh, look, the flowers bloomed two weeks early. Pretty. All right. Well then, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. <laughs> All right, so, okay, huh? That was a good episode. Got character development for Viren, even though I think Claudia, uh, I, you know, I, I like, I'm sitting here going, oh yes, yes, you know, you're on, you're Viren, you're going down the right path. You're realizing that instead of striving for like the stuff he was striving for, power, influence, all that stuff, um. You know, he's going the route of, or he was going the route of, you know, I should just enjoy every day that I've got. I should enjoy the sunsets. We should travel, you know, enjoy my time time with my daughter. He needs to reconcile with Soren. Um, 
And then, of course, Claudius slaps him out of him and is just like, no, we're getting your staff back. It's like, no, he was not in the right, like, I don't think you should give up on living and be like, yeah, the 30 days are it for me. Like, I think you should try to live longer and get that, but then realize that, you know, instead of the path he was going down, live a life of, you know, like what he was saying to do, like what he was going to do. And it's just like, no, Claudia. <laughs> like, I know she's being influenced by darkness now, too. And it's just like, oh, no. But, um... Yeah, I was like, I, I like this episode. We had, we have, now, it'll be interesting if, because Erebos is still stuck in his prison. So I, I kind of wondering, are we going to go down? A, like, I know this season is called The Mystery of Erebos. So I wonder if, um, I wonder if you're going to have Claudia and Viren and Terry on their own journey to reach Erebos. But then now uh, Callum is going to communicate with Erebos and Erebos is going to be like, well, now I have two opportunities. I have this group that can break me out and I'll have this group that can break me out. So whichever one reaches me first, no skin off my nose as long as I get freed. So I'm wondering if that's what's going to happen is Calum is going to be able to connect, like talk to Erebos and then Erebos is going to probably lie, manipulate, whatever. And then they're like Rayla, Callum and whoever else are going to go on a journey to go and break out Erevos or something like that. Cause I'm, I'm wondering if Erevos gonna like promise Callum that he can help him with like more magic and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I could just see it going that way. Um, but yeah, Rayla's back. So now I'm curious and like, I know I know one of you um, said that you have, there's the Through the Moon book that will explain like why Rayla left in the first place. Um, so I'm curious on reading that. Because I don't think that'll spoil anything, because it's going to, like, she's already back. So, I don't know if the show's going to explain it, which maybe it doesn't. Uh, or maybe it'll explain it in less detail, whereas the books would go deeper into it. So, I'm not against reading that. I'm not worried about spoilers, because now that she's back, that's, you know, it's not like I'm seeing that she, it's not like I'm seeing that she left before she had left. So, I'm like, oh, wait, she leaves. Um, so, I don't, I'm not worried about spoilers there, I don't think, unless there's other spoilers in the books I don't be worried about, which I don't think so. Um... So yeah, I'm probably going to read the Through the Moon book first before I watch the next episode. Um, so that I kind of know more deeper detail on why Rayla left before the show probably explains some of it. Um, but yeah, I'm glad to see she's back. Uh, it wasn't for that long. I thought maybe for a little bit longer, but nevertheless, I'm happy to see her back because I missed my Rayla. <laughs> Rayla is definitely my favorite character out of this series. So with her being gone, even for I think it was... This is episode two, so literally two episodes. <laughs> Not even, like, two episodes in, like, what, a couple minutes? Because she appeared at the end of this episode. So, yeah, I I, I feel like we've, I've already gone, like, a half a season without her. But, <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, curious on what she's learned. Um, or what she was going on and what she left for. Uh, curious about what's going to happen in the next episode with uh, Viren and, and Claudia and Terry. Like, what is going to happen when he gets his staff back? Like, yeah. There's going to... Anyway, I, I don't want to do, like, prediction, too many predictions or anything like that. Because, again, this is only, like, the second episode of the season. Um, but, yeah. Overall, a uh, great episode. Love the plot. Characters. The animation was great. Music was good, like usual. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep running bright. See ya.